Well, thank you for joining us today. It's been a pleasure having you. I miss you and I can't wait to be back with you, which we will be. We don't know when. And we know probably things will have to be different, but I can't wait to be back with you. Um, so we rejoice that we are justified by faith and we pray that the gospel goes out and you may wonder what difference does justified by faith make to my life today well that's how we're going to end with this blessing i'm going to read romans chapter 5 verses 1 and 2 Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So I think the God who we've sinned against, who we have trampled on his son, we've broke his law, we've acted as if he didn't exist, and those of us who are Christians, we know that we shouldn't have done it even more because we've read the Bible, we've sang songs, we've listened to preaching, we've been to the Lord's Supper, we've been baptised, we've done all that. And we've still sinned. But we still have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. And it's through him alone, not through our works. That's why it's so important. Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. We rejoice in hope of the glory of God. We have all the blessings that are ours because we're in Christ. That we have access into that grace and that we can know peace in our hearts because we have peace with God and that he is our father. That's what difference, justification by faith makes to our lives. So I bid you the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.